The gospel is entitled The Parable of the Sower. The sower is God, he is the farmer, and we are the seeds in the hand of the farmer. The hand that holds the seed protects it, but the hand that holds the seed also drops it into the soil because seeds do not grow in our hands. So it is part of the role of the hand of the farmer to drop the seed so that it falls to the ground and then it withers and then it bears fruit and then it yields an abundant harvest. That is the hand of God. What about our hands? Our hands that we use to pray, our hands that we use to work, how should our hands be? Recently, there have been some questions how to put our hands during the Mass. There are some who ask, can we extend our hands like this when we pray Amanamin? There are some who say, should we keep our hands on our chest when we pray the Lord's Prayer? The short answer, my dear brothers and sisters, is it does not matter. Putting your hands on your chest or extending your hands like this when you pray the Lord's Prayer is not a question of sin and it will not affect your going to heaven. In fact, our church, the bishops and Pope Francis have repeatedly told us that the Lord's Prayer is not just the prayer of the priest. The Lord's Prayer is the prayer of all the children of God. But what happened? Why did we hear such practices as putting our hands in our chest? It happened this way. The Lord's Prayer came from the mouth of the Lord. And therefore, coming from the mouth of the Lord, it was considered sacred. And therefore, being considered sacred, it was only the priests who were supposed to utter those sacred words. And then the Lord's Prayer seemed like an extension of the prayer of consecration. This is my body and this is my blood. And therefore, it was considered sacred and therefore words to be uttered by the priest. But our church teaching teaches us that it is not so. The Lord's Prayer is not just the prayer of the priest. It is the prayer of the priestly people. The Lord's Prayer is not just the prayer of anointed lips. It is the prayer of the children of God. So my dear brothers and sisters, when you pray the Lord's Prayer later on, feel free. You can put your hands on your chest. You can extend your hands. And in other parts of the world, some people even hold hands. The important thing to ask is, what gesture helps you to experience God? What gesture helps you to express your love for God? Do it. It is not a question of sin. It is not a question of salvation. But, if we are not so concerned about the hands at the Our Father, whether on our chest or extended like this, please keep in mind that there are some things that our hands do that will lead us to hell. For example, holding your gadget, using your hand, using your fingers, you type fake news and you are employed by fake news and you earn a living by being a troll, destroying the reputation of other people, that is a sin. And the hands that do trolling, the hands that do fake news making, offend the Lord. What about those hands that accept bribe? What about those hands that accept money and sell their votes? Those hands are sinful hands. Because those hands are stealing. And stealing is a sin against the commandment of God. What about those hands 
that fondle other people? What about those hands that pay for, pro for prostitution? Those hands are offensive to the Lord because they reduce the image of your brothers and sisters into a thing rather than cre being created in the image and likeness of God. What about those hands that pull the trigger? What about those hands that box other people? What about those hands that pierce other people's sides and kill them? The hands that kill are offensive to the Lord. Your hands raised, your hands on the chest, they will not affect your life of grace or salvation. But when those hands kill, when those hands steal, when those hands fondle prostitutes, when those hands hurt other people, those hands become offensive to the Lord and we are risking the fires of hell. My dear brothers and sisters, our hands belong to the Lord. And our hands should be held by the hand of the divine Savior, the divine Sower. Our hands belong to the Lord. And because our hands belong to the Lord, we must allow the Lord to use our hands to guide our children, to guide the innocent, to guide the ignorant, to guide the confused, to guide the afraid, to guide one another because to guide is to do the work of God. Now, the question to ask is, we are in the hands of the sower and we are the seed. But are your hands in the hand of God? The Lord wants to hold us, protect us and guide us and love us. The pierced hands of the cross want to hold your hands to lead you to heaven. Allow Him. But do not allow your hands to sin because when our hands are allowed to sin, we stray from the path of the good soil and we will wither and die soon. And now this Sunday, let us ask ourselves, are my hands still clean? Are my hands still clean? the hands of the Lord.